Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to do a collective haul of things that I've bought sort of over the last two months and it's not all mega expensive there are some like cheapy bits and things I've been that have been sent to me as well which I just want to show you as well as well as well okay I'm going to start with makeup items because there's not really a lot of that it's mostly clothing and random things in terms of makeup um, I've not really got too much to be quite honest with you I've not been massively inspired by any new collections or any new things I don't know why I think it's just because I'm quite happy with what I've got in my makeup bag at the moment so I've not been going too wild it's not to say that I might not in the coming months but still um, there has recently been um, a launch of Soap and Glory makeup like a little makeup stand so I bought a few things from that from Boots um, the first thing is the Soap and Glory kick-ass concealer um, now if you know me you know that I will buy any concealer on the market because I want to make it cover up my disgusting under eye circles um, so I bought this in the hope that it would do something similar it comes in a little thing like this personally I think they could have put a mirror in there for on the go touch ups but they didn't so I won't hold it against them uh, there's a little translucent powder there and a little powder buff don't know that I'll be using that because I just think spreading germs so I'll keep that sort of separate and then underneath oh there's a mirror there okay then I'll shush it seems a strange place to put it though I, I probably would have put it on the main the back of the main mirror um main mirror anyway yes there's a mirror um and then you've got two concealers one slightly darker one slightly lighter um what do I think of this so far I like the slightly pinkier one because that shade there is very good for under eye circles obviously slightly salmony pinky orangey undertones cancel out the blue cancel out cancel out the blue um, this one though I'm not so sure on it's very very yellowy so if you've got quite yellowy skin it might suit you um, yeah it's not too bad I can't remember how much I paid for this I know it wasn't too much it definitely wasn't over £10 so I think it's quite a nice little kit I got that in light by the way so there's that one first then I bought this lid shadow liner stick the daily double crayon liner looks like that um, it's light pink at one end and dark brown sort of shimmery at the other end I'm not too sure why I bought this I think I bought this because I love brown liner at the moment and I thought this would look really nice to do like a thick brown smoky eye turns out it is very thick the nib of this so it does make it slightly difficult to get any precision but I still really really like it and I would recommend this if you want to try it again I don't think that was too expensive my favorite item from the soap and glory makeup is the smolder coal liner just plain black really black though like really really dark um, and it actually has a pencil sharpener on the end which I think is quite a nifty little invention so um, yeah I've just been really enjoying using that and again I don't think that was very expensive just on to Topshop makeup as you know I'm a massive Topshop makeup fan um, I really think they need to expand their makeup line because otherwise I'm going to be owning everything before they've done it um, I got a Topshop voucher very kindly from my auntie and uncle for Christmas if you're watching hi um, and I went into Topshop and there weren't any clothes in there that I really liked or wanted to use all my voucher money on because as you know their clothes are like stupidly expensive so I went over to the makeup and I picked up two nail polishes and a lipstick first nail polish is in Crystal Clouds which is a really really pretty metallic sort of silvery colour really really like that it's really cute and the other one is called sketch and it's a dark purpley gray I would best describe that as so again really like that not really um, a summer color that one more winter but still it's still cold and I got another lipstick because obviously I don't have enough and this is in Brighton Rock don't know if you can see that and it's just a really really gorgeous pink 
and I really liked it, so I bought it. And this is quite random, but I went into Superdrug and a lot of people tell me that the Superdrug own brand of dry shampoo is actually really, really good and super cheap. And they had all the all the dry shampoos available and they were all buy one, get two free for like £1.99. So you're basically just paying £1.99 for three. Um, one of them's at my boyfriend's, but um, yeah, I got these and actually, oh. And actually they are really really good really recommend those I'm sorry if you feel like I'm rushing this but trust me there is a lot for you to see and I don't want you to have to sit here for 30 minutes watching all this stuff next this is quite random but I'll just show you it anyway um, I really like the American Apparel style hoodies with the white shoelace in don't ask me why I just really like them and I actually do wear hoodies quite a lot I steal my brothers and I steal my boyfriends um, but obviously I'm not too keen on paying, what was it, £40 for one? So I saw this one in Top Man, which is just a sort of dark blue speckled hoodie with a white lace tag and this was £30. Slightly cheaper and I've actually worn it quite a lot so... I was quite chuffed with that. Went to New Look. Um, at the moment they've got some quite nice things in, I have to admit. I'm not the m massivest fan of New Look clothes, but they have the odd gem. The first top I got is this one, which has a cute little lace Peter Pan collar, and then it's sort of like a dark red, and it's just very, very floaty at the bottom. Um, very me. I like all these sorts of tops. I don't know when it's recording anymore. Is it recording? Next is this dress, which is actually from the generation section, which is ages 9 to 15, which would make you raise your eyebrows, but honestly some of the larger sizes in this sort of range are more like a size 8 to 10 in like women's sizes. So it is worth checking out that section and it's so much cheaper, so so much cheaper. So this is just a navy blue spotty dress, cinched in at the waist, really cute little collar and this was only 9 99 so marginally cheaper than if you were to buy that from the adult section. Next I got this t-shirt which is grey, um, quite long and no sleeves and it has a little uh, wolf howling at the moon which I quite liked and I also got another one which was very similar but it has zebras on it. I nearly said zebras then. That's how Americans say, I think. A zebra. And that was 12 99 I think the other one was the same, same price. I just think they'd look quite nice with just plain black leggings, boots, oversized cardi, and you're good to go. The last thing I got from New Look was this scarf, which I just thought was quite pretty. It's like a pale orange and grey with little brown and orange birds. I think that Louise might like this. Nice. That was 7 .99. Some juice. Juice, juice. I don't know if it's my lip gloss or the bottle or the juice that I've poured inside of this. But it tastes like mothballs. Okay, moving on to something I was kindly sent. Um, this is by a company called Orange Circle who have a website and they do designs on t-shirts and they have loads and loads and loads of different designs to choose from and they contacted me and just asked me if I wanted to try out sort of one or two of the t-shirts and they were like massively kind enough to say I could pick four that I liked. So these are the four that I picked. I also chose to have them in a men's style medium because I quite wanted to wear them quite baggy and for them to cover my bum so I could wear them with leggings. They do do uh, a woman's fitted style t-shirt but I just preferred to wear them sort of baggier. So the first one I've got is on a white t-shirt, just plain white, and this is the design on this one. I don't know if you can see that because... I just don't know if you can. So I got that one. 
Um, I got this one. Oh, I'm not really showing you these very well. I think that one's called Cosmic Circle. Um, I got this one, which is on a slightly different coloured background t-shirt. This is called um, Ash, I think. Um, and it's a little moustache. So I like that. And the last one is this one, which just has a floral cross on it. So I really, really like those. Hopefully I can sort of do a few outfit of the days and post those on my blog. But thank you so much for sending me those. They're really, really nice. I'll leave the website below if any of you want to go have a look. Quite a while ago, I was contacted by a company called Style Compare, um, which is a website where you can... In fact, I've used it so much since they've got in contact with me because I think it's such a good idea. You literally type in Aztec and it comes up with everything Aztec from various different shops, which sort of saves you having to go looking in all the different shops. It's a really, really clever idea. I'll leave the website below for you so you can go and have a look. Um, they contacted me and let me know that I was in their sort of top 10 haulers on YouTube, which I think was really nice and quite cool. Uh, and also means I shop too much, clearly. And um, they offered to give me some money to use to buy things from the site. So I definitely took up the opportunity and I'm just gonna show you the things that I picked. Um, the first thing was this Aztec style scarf. This was actually from Top Man. Um, I don't know if they've still got it in there because obviously I got it sort of slightly before Christmas. But I absolutely love it. It's a snood or a snood. And it's just Aztec print. Um, and to find that, literally I just typed in Aztec and it, and it came up and I really liked it. I also got this top. I'm sorry if it's slightly creased. It has been hanging in my wardrobe. This was from Urban Outfitters. It's got quite a sort of substantial scoop at the front. It's just dark grey and it has like a really, really deep scoop at the back. And this was actually in the sale on Urban Outfitters. But I really like that and I can't wait for it, for it to be summer so I can wear it. The next thing I have worn a couple of times, you may have seen it in one of my videos. And it is this Topshop dress. Um, it's just cream and it just has this really cute little collar and it just sort of goes out like this and I absolutely love it again I think it's really me and I think you can wear this casually but also you can make it look quite formal depending on what you wear with it so I got that as well um, and the last thing I got from there was this warehouse bag now I have a lot of little satchel style bags and little bags that I sort of carry around with me. I just think they're, oh, I'm so uncomfortable. Oh, I just think they're really useful to have, but I just don't have many black ones. And obviously sometimes brown just doesn't go with every outfit. I don't even know if you can see because I don't know where I'm holding it up. Um, and it's just like that on quite a long strap and just open it up. It's really sturdy as well, so it's just got a little tassel. So I got that as well. That's all the clothing, beauty, and makeup things out of the way. So this is quite random, and a lot of you might be like, "You're you're weird," but um, I like sort of quirky old things to store stuff in. Like in my room, I don't like to just have you know, plain cup holders for brushes. I like to buy little trinkets and little old things and vases and I don't know, I just like old weird things. And so I went to this little shop sort of near me that sell, that sort of does house clearances and obviously they just buy things from people's houses that they don't want anymore. So I went in there and picked up a selection of tins because I want to store my jewellery and my makeup in things, but I don't want it to be modern. I don't know, I just want something a bit more exciting than just a clear plastic drawer. So I went and found all these cute little tins, and I don't even really know what I'm going to put in them. I guess I'm just going to put whatever I can find in them. But um, yeah, the first one is this little Alice in Wonderland tin. It's just like that round Alice in Wonderland really cute it's like raised slightly um, and that was two pounds and yeah I don't know what I'm gonna put in it yet probably earrings or something but 
I just thought that would look quite cute on my dressing table. So I bought that. Uh, the next one I bought is Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, which is a British, I think it's British, actually I'm not too sure, story, child's story. And um, that's just in a tin like this. So I don't know what I'm going to put in that one yet. And that was £2.95. I just think that's really cute. Bless Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. The next one I got is this little one. I think this is this used to be a little biscuit tin and it has little squirrels around the outside. Again, I'm not overly sure what I'm going to put in this, but I liked it. <laughs> um, the next one is this cream crackers one. I actually bought this for my boyfriend to put in his kitchen because I just think it looks cool because it's so old and retro. And it's just Jacob's cream crackers and it just opens, god it's so old, it's like, oh, it just opens like that. Obviously I'm not going to put food in it, that would just be a bit gross, but I don't know, you could put something in it. So yes, I bought that. And then I bought this Thai food tea tin, which I think I might put makeup brushes in. So there's a little retro lady with her Typhoon tea. So yes, I got those. And then, uh, I really don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but I then found some old tin badges. Ow, I just pricked myself. I'm not gonna show you these like all individually, because that would just take me a long time. I did take a picture of them and put it on my Twitter, so if you wanna follow my Twitter, I'll put my Twitter below and you can go and find it, but. Um, these are some of them. Oh, how am I going to do this? Okay, this is my favourite one. I'll just show you this one. It says Mr. Softy. I think he's an ice cream man. And he has ice cream hat. And I like it. And these were all 50p. This is an old Disney one. So if you have any ideas for what I can do with these really cool badges, do let me know. I've got an old Doctor Who one, which I bought for Louise because I know how much she loves Doctor Who, but secretly pretends that she doesn't. I bought quite a few, it has to be said. I think I had a bit of a mad moment. What a strange haul. This is also one of my favourites. I'm a Jackie girl. Jackie was a girls magazine from a very long time ago. <laughs> and Heinz Invaders. But yeah, that's just a few things that I've got recently and I hope you enjoyed the haul. Hopefully, I mean, I know that you like my hauls but I don't really have the money to go out and do them all the time. <laughs> but um, hopefully when I don't have to be spending so much money on everyone else and when I don't have to buy a new laptop, I can start buying things for myself again. Properly. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Sound like an old granny. Afidasin adieu. Does that mean good night? Hmm. That's enough now.